Hi, my name is Sandro and I love eating. Yes, I love eating but I also like being in shape. So recently, I turned 30, then I realized ko na parang bumabagal yung metabolism ko. Hindi na ganun kadali na mag-burn at parang mas mabilis na akong lumaki. Kunwari kahit workout ako ng workout, lumalaki ako. So yung naging problema dito is hindi naman maayos yung diet ko. So tinatry kong bawiin sa workout pero hindi naman talaga siya nangyayari. So I've tried all the types of uh, diets in the past as well. No? So pinaka-famous syempre yung bro diet which was very effective for me in the past. So the bro diet is basically chicken breast and gamote. So hindi naman siya maintainable kasi nakakasawa talaga siya. I mean effectivity niya, sobra effective niya pero... In real life situations, when you eat out, hindi ka naman pwede mag-order ng steamed chicken breast or steamed gamote palagi. And nagahanap ka talaga ng lasa sa kinakain mo. So you wanna also enjoy what you eat. So later on, I also ventured into those diet deliveries. Yun medyo mas effective naman talaga kasi they deliver your food. Tapos masarap and then it's just properly portioned. Ang nangyari lang was I kind of did the math and realized ko na medyo napapamahal ako sa mga diet deliveries na to. So ginawa ko na lang is I just studied what they usually do. So ginawa ko, hinanap ko yung proper macros for my body. So nag-compute, compute ako, nag-research ako konti kung ano yung dapat na macros. And then hindi naman kasi ako professional chef. I'm also not a professional nutritionist. So I just try to experiment also along the way and try to learn new stuff to make my diet interesting. So ang venture on ko was yung mga basic meal preps nga. So gumagawa ko ng mga recipes and ng mga pagkain na kakainin ko on a weekly basis na mas mura sa mga diet deliveries na pwede natin i-avail sa mga nakikita natin sa social media or yung mga already available. So ito very basic lang talaga dahil gaya nga nang sabi ko hindi naman ako chef, hindi rin ako professional nutritionist. So kumbaga gusto ko lang yung healthy food na pwede mong i-enjoy at yung kaya mong i-maintain. At ang maganda rin dito is hindi talaga ako nagtatanggal ng carbs. no Hindi ako fan ng mga fad diet na zero carbs kasi Imposible naman di ka kakain ng carbs. Pilipino ka, mahilig ka kumain ng kanin. And hindi rin mawawala na ako. Kunwari, meron ako mga occasional cheat meals. Yung mga favorite ko yung mga burgers, yung mga kebabs, yung mga sushi. Yan, may fat, may carbs. Pero it's about proper portioning lang talaga. At yung pag-maintain nga ng ating mga food na kinakain. So, ito guys, yung first na basic meal prep ko. Okay, so you started off with the beef. You kind of have to heat it up with water. Para malinis lang yung ating beef, mawala yung para mga dugo-dugo, yung mga dumi niya kung tawagin nga nila. So iwan nyo lang yan and then while you're doing that, ito ngayon yung ating taco seasoning. So you just basically mix it up with hot water tapos stir mo na lang din siya. Pag stir mo, makita mo nag-iiba na yung consistency niya. Yung taco seasoning na to, nabili ko to sa States pa yata but I'm sure you can find it sa groceries yun naman. So, may hilig kasi ako sa taco beef. Gustong gusto ko yung flavor niya. Kaya, siya yung naisip kong gamitin for our lean ground beef. Tapos, yan. Ipopour mo lang siya dun sa beef na pinakuluan mo. Actually, pinakuluan natin, hinaf natin yon Kasi yung half nun, gagawin natin burgers. And then, yung other half ng ating mga ground beef is ito nga. Yung gagawin natin taco beef. So, yan. Binuhos ko lang yung taco seasoning na nakahalo na sa water. And then you'll just leave it na lang to simmer. Iwan mo na lang siya hanggang matuyo yung liquid niya. So parang kumbaga na-absorb na nung beef natin yung flavor. Yan, medyo mas naging tuyo na nga siya as you can see. And yun nga, mix mo lang properly kasi hindi siya pantay-pantay kung nakikita nyo. Uh, yan, then until you get the consistency you want for your beef. Sarap nyan, men. Panalo to. Promise. Champion yan. Favorite ko yung taco beef na yan. So, the other half of our beef, we mix it with oatmeal. And then, mushrooms din. Halo natin ng mushrooms. So, ginawa ko ginrinder ko or pinood processor ko yung mushrooms para maging ganyan yung texture. And then, you just basically mix it with the beef naman. Yan, kinamay ko lang. Hinalo ko. And make sure lang na, kung baga pantay-pantay yung pagkahalo ng iyong mushroom and yung iyong beef. And yan, kung baga lamutakin mo lang talaga. Tapos, pag makita mo naman na medyo okay na rin siya, ayan, nilagyan ko ng seasoning, nilagyan ko ng chili flakes para mag-iba rin yung lasa niya. So, ganun din, haluin mo lang na para at least pantay-pantay. Ang hirap naman ng ibang burger mo, may chili flakes, iba maanghang, iba wala. And then, after that, binalik ko siya sa food processor and nilagyan ko na ng oatmeal, kumbaga pampakapal nga rin. At siguro para magkaroon na rin ng fiber yung ating burger. And then, yan, after that, you just make them into patties. So, ngayon meron tayo ng parang grill, grill pan. 
Nilagyan ko lang din siya ng uh, olive oil. So, non-stick siya pero gusto ko ng olive oil. Dahil okay lang naman olive oil. Hindi naman yan sobrang sama. So don't think na olive oil is really bad dahil may fat yan or whatever. But it's actually okay. So yan, kumbaga it just helps in uh, properly cooking your burgers. Gusto ko rin kasi medyo parang may crisp siya. That's why I use a lot of olive oil as well. So yan, uh, makita mo naman nagsisizzle siya. And iyon mo lang ng ganyan and then after a while you can see naman kung okay na yung burgers mo. So ako ayo ko man na sobrang sunog. So eto, sinap ko na siya and then lipat ka na sa plato. Okay na ako diyan. Actually, ang sarap ng kinalabasan nito. Hindi siya sobrang dry like what people would actually think of a diet burger. And now we go to our dieters favorite ingredient sa diet nila, yan yung chicken breast. So yan ginawa ko, nilagyan ko ng lemon salt. And then you just have to make sure na you mix it very properly, mix it all together. And then basically you're just gonna grill it. Yan, tinabad na ako maghugas ng aking grill. Nilagyan ko lang siya ng uh, olive oil. So make sure lang na kalat yung olive oil. So aside from it not sticking also, gusto ko kasi na medyo may crisp nga. Kumbaga hindi rin naman yung parang uh, tuyong-tuyo na yung chicken breast mo. So make it a little bit interesting naman. It's not bad as long as properly portion yan. Alam mo naman kung gaano karami yung fat na meron ka sa olive oil mo. Hindi mo naman din deep fry, ba diba? So, it's just basically just uh, pan frying it in a little bit of olive oil. Para lang din na uh, hindi siya sobrang dry. So, bakit ba chicken breast yung favorite ng mga nag-diet? Kasi, ang baba ng calories niya, ang taas ng protein niya, mababa din yung fat niya, tapos, kumbaga, busog na busog ka pa sa chicken breast. So, yan talaga yung kumbaga best na Protein per calorie, siguro kung tawagin natin yan. Kaya, crucial siya na part ng ating diet. So, kailangan natin ng protein, with, especially if nagahabol tayo ng ating macros. So, we don't necessarily have to keep on drinking mga protein shakes or keep taking supplements. Kasi, kaya mo naman habulin siya with your food. It's just that you have to know how many grams of protein or grams of carbs or kumbaga yung macros lang na kinakain mo, yun lang kailangan mong alamin. And syempre, ang pinaka-importante dito is yung pag-proportion natin ng meals natin. So, I'm going for small frequent feeding. So, kumbaga maraming meals na spread throughout the day. I'll show you later how to properly portion your meals. And lastly, we have our shrimp. So, I just added our lemon salt and our chili flakes. So, very simple yung ingredients or yung seasonings na ginagamit ko. More of the same lang din for what I used earlier for the beef burger and para din sa ating chicken. So, pinaghalo ko na lang. And yan, you just have to mix it with the shrimp. And of course, important that you use olive oil. So yan, kukot mo lang yung pan mo with olive oil. And kasi gusto ko talaga yung lasa ng garlic. So yan, ginawa ko, dinagdagan ko ng garlic yung recipe ng ating uh, shrimp. So yan, gagawin mo lang, i-fry mo lang yung garlic a bit. Hindi naman kailangan yung brown na siya talaga. So kumbaga, para lang makita mo naman kung naluluto na o hindi. Wala naman really certain number of minutes yan. Depende na yan sa inyo. And then you mix now or add the seasoned shrimp. So ang shrimp kasi mabilis maluto yan. So pag nakita nyo nag-orange na siya, so ibig sabihin it's getting cooked na. So ako ayoko masyadong overcooked yung aking shrimp kasi nagiging matigas. So tansya-tansya lang din talaga siya kung paano mo siya lulutu. So this is everything that we've cooked already. Ngayon, ang kailangan natin gawin is to properly weigh and portion our meal. So, ito, inuna ko yung chicken natin. So, yung chicken natin, we use around 120 grams of chicken breast per meal. So, kasi ginagawa ko is meron tayong parang 5 meals a day. So, tinarget ko na siya ng 120 grams. That's more than enough. Na compute ko na yan. So, if you want me to help you out with the computation, pwede naman yan. Madali lang tayo mag-compute ng macros. And yung shrimp natin ito, actually, medyo dinamihan ko to kasi... Gustong gusto ko yung luto ko, yung lasa ng shrimp na rin. So makita mo medyo mas sauce nga siya and then may garlic pa tayo. So I used 150 grams of shrimp for this one. And kung nakita nga nyo nga na parang medyo konti din siya. But if you want nga, kumbaga hindi tayo nagde-deprive sa sarili natin, masarap pa rin yung kinakain natin. You just have to portion it. And the same goes actually for the beef. So yung beef na to, parang inisip na ako, masama yung beef kasi may fat yan. Pero okay lang naman, may fat naman din talaga yan. Pero it also has its protein. So it's just, you're using uh, yung lean na ground beef. And then nilagyan din ng flavoring, yes. Kasi ayoko naman maging sobrang boring pagkain. But yun nga, it's portion to 100 grams of beef for our taco beef. Uh, actually yan, ang sarap niyang tignan. At malasa talaga siya, hindi siya yung parang dry na, parang kumakain ng buhangin, walang ganun tayo. Ito medyo okay siya. And yung burgers natin, 
it's around 100 grams also. Kung baga, I just wanted a variation, no? para hindi la puro taco beef kasi baka nakakasuya naman ko everyday. So, I made a variation of actually using itong ating uh, beef burgers na rin. And, importante rin kasi yung ating carbs. So, sinasabi nila masama yung carbs. Hindi totoo yan. Ako nag white rice ako. And, yun nga, I put 150 grams of white rice na pinair ko sa ating mga meals. So, naisip ko saan babaga yung ating uh, yung rice. So, naisip ko na bagay siya. Actually, sa totoo lang, bagay siya dun sa beef. Pero, parang ginawa ko na lang, binagay ko na lang siya dun sa chicken. Which is actually good na rin. Kasi, ang dami ng chicken eh. So, mas maganda na pinipair natin siya with rice. And yung shrimp natin, which is actually my favorite yan. Pasok na pasok yan na may shrimp and yung rice natin. Yan ang masos. And ito nga yung basic meals natin for the day. Meron kang chicken with rice, shrimp with rice, meron tayong beef burgers, and yung ating taco beef. So yung mga beef natin, actually ang ipepare ko na lang dyan ay yung mga gulay. So yung gulay hindi natin kailangan bilangin. Pwede tayong kumain ng maraming maraming gulay hanggang mabasog tayo. So there you go. Those are the meals I prepared. Meron pang ibang mga meals na kinakain all throughout the day na hindi naman kailangan i-prepare. So kunwari, breakfast would be 30 grams of oats and then 6 egg whites. Madali lang naman gawin yan. And then meal 2 ko would be the chicken and then meal 3 would be the shrimp. Meal 4 would be a protein shake. So madali lang naman gumawa ng protein shake, di ba? Then meal 5, yung ating beef. So pwede ko naman siyang i-alternate all throughout the day depende ko ano yung gusto kong unahin. Pero siguro yung mga calories nito nasa mga 1 3 to 1, 5 siguro calories in a day na kinakain mo and spread all throughout. So, importante lang naman na para pumayat ka is meron kang caloric deficit nga kung tawagin. So, kung gusto mong pumayat na mas mabilis, mag-workout ka together with the consumption of meals na ganito lang kaliliit and then spread mo lang all throughout the day. So, like I said, I'm not a professional chef nor am I a nutritionist. Ang ginagawa ko lang is kung ano yung natutunan ko and nababasa ko, tinatry ko i-apply at tinetesting ko sa sarili ko together with the food na minsan hindi naman masarap, minsan okay na, minsan pwede na pero yung goal naman dito is hindi ka lang totally deprived. Nakakain ka ng medyo may lasa, ng medyo pwede na naman or medyo masarap din for others pero nag-lose ka pa rin ng weight kasi nga proper portioning ang habol natin. Kung nakita nyo, nagsama pa ako ng white rice dyan kasi honestly, hindi ko kaya ng walang white rice. no Pilipino tayo, palagi tayo naghahanap ng kanin. So, sinama ko na rin siya kasi kumbaga kailangan ko i-maintain pa rin yung diet with the white rice being involved. So, yan yung ating basic meal prep. Uh, eventually, gagaling na rin ako magluto. So, meron, kung meron kayo mga tips, comments, and suggestions, comment lang kayo please guys. I would love to hear from you. So, catch you later guys.